Yes, I just passed the ISC squared CC, which stands for Certified in Cyber Security. Dear Caleb, congratulations. We're pleased to inform you that you have passed the Certified in Cyber Security examination. By passing this examination, you've completed the first of three steps toward earning the certification and becoming an ISC squared member. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you guys how exactly I passed the ISC squared CC, how I studied for the exam, different tips on how I passed the exam and my overall experience taking this exam. Remember, I'll be putting study materials in this video that you can go away and use to pass the exam as well, the same way I did. Please enjoy this video. What's up guys, my name is Caleb Oni Certified and this is another video on an exam which I've recently passed. So let's talk a little bit about the exam. So Certified in Cybersecurity is a foundational exam which covers the foundations and the basics of cybersecurity. The exam is 100 multiple choice questions and you have to complete this exam within two hours, which I think is a reasonable amount of time for 100 multiple choice questions. You're not gonna need the full two hours. I took this exam just this morning and one of the things I noticed immediately is that once you do a question, you can't go back and review questions and you can't flag them and review them at the end. You just go through one question and go on to the next, to the next, there's no going back. So make sure you pick the answer you really think is correct because you're not going back to it. You do have enough time to think and to process, is this the right answer that I wanna pick and use that time wisely. So for me, this exam had to be taken at a test center. I didn't get the option to take it from home. And of course the pass mark is a 700 over 1000, like a lot of certifications are. If you're going to take the ISC square CC and you've been studying for this exam with the online training, it's worth noting that the questions in the online training are a little bit easier than the ones in the actual exam. And the exam is a little bit more difficult. Not to worry because I'll be mentioning some resources in this video that you could use to find some resources which have some questions that are a lot closer to the ones in the actual exam. So let's talk about how I studied for this exam and what resources I used. I took this exam because I'm working in the role of a cloud security engineer and I'm coming from more of a cloud infrastructure role. So there's a lot that I need to learn and improve on when it comes to cyber security. So it was definitely a good idea for me to go and take a foundational cyber security exam and study for it and understand a bit more about different cyber security terms and terminology and stuff like that. It took me about three to four weeks to study for this exam, but I definitely could have studied in one or two just because I've been working in tech for about almost two years. The reason it took me three to four weeks was more because I was studying and working at the same time and I was trying to find time here and there to study. Studying, working, doing YouTube, uh, playing basketball, doing life, there's a lot of things and it was kind of hard to find the time to study. Time management wasn't the best. There were only two resources which I needed to pass this exam and I'll be mentioning them now. Remember that I'm gonna be putting links to these resources in the description of this video. So if you wanna use them, check them out. And the first one of course is the ISC squared training. The free online training for the ISC squared CC should give you everything you need to pass. However, it would be really helpful to use other resources as well. The online training is really good, it's really in depth. I think for me, sometimes it was too in depth. Sometimes it goes so deep that you're not sure if what you're reading is gonna come out in the exam or it's worth even knowing. I'm more of a video person and I'm good with video courses personally. And because the ISC Square training had a lot of written information and video, it was kind of hard to balance the two. I was confused. I was like, do I need to watch all of this video? Do I need to read all of this written information? And so a lot of the time I was skimming through the written information and then watching the video. And I knew that I would need some more resources to pass this exam. I looked online and on Reddit, I saw someone say that the actual exam is a lot harder than the questions in the training. And I believed them and went after looking for some more questions which would be similar to the exam. And in doing so, I came across my second resource, which was a YouTube channel called Prab Nair. And Prab Nair has several questions on the IC squared exam, 
and these practice questions were really good. He doesn't just go through the questions and answers, but he also explains each and every question, which was really, really helpful for me when I took the exam, because it wasn't just the questions that we were going through that were gonna come out in the exam, but it was the teaching that he gave and the explanations that helped me to understand these questions. And so I'm gonna be linking his YouTube channel here he is really good and he goes through explanations really well. So definitely check that out. Because not only did these videos give me a feel for the exam, they also gave me explanations on different questions and different things that would come out. And those were the only two resources I needed to pass this exam. I've been working in cybersecurity for about 10 months. And maybe if you haven't been working in cybersecurity as long, you might need more resources. But for me, this was enough. And I think for most people, this would be enough. Even for some people who haven't even worked in cybersecurity that long, that may be enough for you as well. It always depends on the person. I'm really grateful to have passed this exam. And the next step is to claim the certification and become an ISC Squared member. And to do this, you have to pay the $50 to become a member and officially get the certification rewarded. If you've passed this exam or are preparing for this exam, please tell us about your experience studying and how it's going for you or how it's gone for you in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful for those who are trying to take this exam or those who are taking it already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Subscribe to the channel, follow me on LinkedIn and Instagram, and I'll see you later.